Hi everyone and welcome to Year 4 Storytime. It's Thursday the 4th of March. We are on Roman Diary, The Journey of Ileona, A Young Slave by Richard Platt. Now I missed this bit from yesterday, my apologies. An hour later, my master suffered another blow like the one that struck him yesterday. This time, he didn't recover. Now, my master is dead. Day 1 of October. In the middle of the misery and mourning for my master, I have reason to be joyful, for the reading of his will has brought a fantastic and wonderful surprise. Yesterday my master's brother fetched the will from the temple nearby where it was stored for safekeeping. He took it into the dining room to break the seals and he read the wax panels to the family. After half an hour I heard Cratinus, who arrived yesterday, shouting, and then he stormed out of the room in a black mood, followed by everybody else. My master's brother was the last to come out, and he called me over to sit with him in the Heristylum. There he read to me just as follows, for I borrowed the wax tablets and copied them. For her bravery in saving my baby daughter from certain death in the flames of a house fire, I set my slave, Ileona, immediately. Sorry, I, I set free my slave, Ileona, immediately. I also set free her brother, Apollo, who shall be brought from my country estate to be reunited with his sister. In addition, I give to Ileona each year the sum of 100 denarii. I'm free at last. Day three of November. A month has passed since I uh, unrolled my diary and sharpened my quills. Sorry, a, day, a month has passed since I last unrolled my diary and sharpened my quills. My life has changed so much, and yet it seems to hardly change at all. Apollo is with me, which makes us both happy. My mistress sent him for several days. Uh, sent for him several days after the will was read. He walked all the way to Rome rather than wait for a carriage to fetch him. Now he works here in the house, doing any tasks that require strength and skill. For his months on the farm have given him powerful arms and hands that learn quickly. Now that I am free, my mistress treats me better than she did before, and even says please and thank you if she remembers. Cytherus did not speak to me for a fortnight. Thankfully, though, we are friends once more. I am spared some of the tasks I hated most, such as emptying the toilet pots in the morning. But I still, but I'm still studying and looking after little Lydia. Apollo and I have talked about returning to Greece. We could perhaps save enough from our earnings to pay for the fare. However, our parents are at the bottom of the sea, and we have few relatives in Mytilene. Furthermore, if pirates were to attack again, uh, again attack our ship on the journey, we might swiftly find ourselves back in Rome. Then our story would start again, just as it began a year ago, with chalk on our feet and wooden signs around our necks. No, for the present we shall stay here, for my mistress's home is now our home, and her family has become our family too. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.